on Times Now Super Prime Time. Uh, with me in the studio uh, from my from my extreme right, Anand Gupta is General Secretary of the Builders Association of India. To my right, out here is Rahul Narvekar, he's the spokesperson for the Shiv Sena. They run the Bum Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation. Uh, uh, Ashok Pandit, filmmaker, social activist, citizen of Mumbai, who's with the with those who are suffering. And uh, with me is Nandini Mehta and Ajay Mehta, both residents of, of Campakola, this building which has now become you know, a, a symbol of protest across the entire country. Dr. Srinivas, to the left of Nandini Mehta, is Campakola resident. Uh, with us from Bengaluru today is Ramji Chandran. He's the editor-in-chief of Explo City magazine. Thank you very much, uh, Ramji Chandran. As we said, this is, not a, this is not only about Mumbai. This is about the whole country. Uh, Milind Diora, minister, and uh, he's a member of parliament from South Mumbai in the Lok Sabha, and Jitendra Awad of the NCP. So we have a big panel. So. First of all, to everyone, welcome. We are going for an open debate, which means I'm not going for introductory comments. I just want the debate to begin. Trending tonight nationally, one of the top Twitter trends is the hashtag which Newsar put out called uh, crushed by corruption. And that's the whole story, isn't it? It is about the fact that the politicians get away each time, the builders get away each time, and the tax-paying citizen does not. And I'd like the citizens to speak up first. Uh, Ajay, Nanditi and uh, Dr. Srinivas, why do you think everyone across India should support you tonight? They relate to this. You why know? would they? End of the day, what any average man, his, his endeavor is to buy a home for himself. Yeah. And today we are threatened with losing our homes. Yeah. I mean, people put in all their belongings. The first dream, a common man, and we are the middle class man who are not a potential world bank, eventually dreams of buying himself a home. Yeah. And today that dream is going to be shattered, crumbled, despite our best efforts, we've gone to every court, every politician, every place. Simple question, Nandini, yeah. who, who the peop some people are, who asked you to live in an illegal house? Well, why, why do you deserve our sympathy? They say. Well, we did not know this house was illegal. Even today, forget 25 years ago, even today builders are selling their homes and apartments even before they start construction, even before they start building a foundation. So I want to know what happened 25 years ago. Are these very same people who are investing today, are they going to be thrown out of their homes 25 years from now and the government will do nothing about it? Yeah, point, point is well taken. Dr. Srinivas, you know, that's your weak point, isn't it? I mean, you compromised with the system. Once you compromise with your system, you lose the high moral ground. And there are some people who are saying today, we have our sympathies, you're losing your house. But look here, we checked our houses, we knew our papers were legal before we got it. We don't want to support the Campacola residents because they broke the law. They were part of the compromise. Well, <clears throat> the only thing is this house did not have an occupation certificate. There are 56,000 houses in Bombay without occupation certificates. People do buy houses without an occupation certificate. And we have paid stamp duty, registration fees, and taxes. Banks have given loans. HDFC Bank, Citibank, Standard Charter Bank have given loans. They do due diligence. So how can you say that people did not know this is an illegal house? So you it's just they did not have an occupation certificate. Yep. And, 20, and when we bought the homes, there was no right to information. When the builder gives you a title deed and the builder tells you it's and the buildings are under construction and that's when we move in. Can I ask you, Arnav, how does one know that those very same buildings are going to be beyond FSI limit? How are we to know that? Well, I, I have a different question for Milind Diora as I start the debate. You know, Milind, most people are saying today that politicians have got a different set of rules for themselves and how right they are, you know? Because your government allows Mayawati to combine three bungalows in Delhi into one super bungalow because it is on her support that your government survives in Delhi. How unfair is that? No, how unfair is that, Milindiora? Because the question here is, have the same law for everyone. I'm not, firstly, please, I, I would kindly urge you to not elevate it into areas that have no concern because uh, the residents and the people who are on your panel representing Kampakola compound are people I've been working with for the past few months. Uh, they are aggrieved. I don't, the last thing they want to know is about Mayavati and why? that kind of politics. Why, why would they? Uh, I, I, no, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because the, this issue of Kampakola compound, I believe, uh, is very different from many, many other cases of corruption. Uh, this is an issue which is found in every city in India. Wherever there is rampant construction, there is a housing boom. Um, there has always been traditionally a nexus between officials, politicians and builders. Uh, Mumbai is no different. In fact, Mumbai has been in some ways the epitome of it, unfortunately. 
where the local municipality and builders and uh, other departments of maybe the state government collude and uh, they allow illegal structures to come up. Now, let's get into the debate in terms of what we can do and why we're doing no, 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 one sec, one sec, one sec, no, no, I, no, one sec, Melindyora, Melindyora, no, no, Melindyora, I draw a line, I, I draw, I, I, I began the news hour tonight, Melin, by saying this. last few months. No, no, I'm, I began the news hour tonight, Mil, Mil, Mr. Melindyora, allow me, Mr. Minister, I began by saying this. I believe, maybe I am one of those naive people in this country who believe everyone should pay the law equally, right? So there's a deputy chief minister, if I'm not mistaken, who lives across the building, in another building called Sukhada, against whom there were charges as recently as a few weeks back of making alterations to his house. Nothing happens to him. What about, why should I not talk about Mayawati? Should I not talk about Mayawati? Ashok Pandit, the minister says, let's not talk about Mayawati. I think no, no, I, I, I have every say, legitimate say, right to ask every, tonight, why, no, no, why rules don't allow, no, 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 rules don't allow modification of government bungalows in the New Delhi Latian zone areas. Why is Adarsh Okay, why is, why is Adarsh not being demolished? Why is Mayawati's house not being, uh, uh, construction not being stopped? Why does it, why is it that whenever it comes to showing, you know, how transparent the system is, the middle class Indian it gets hit, hit the first. Uh, I think uh, you wanted to come in, at Ashok. Yeah, uh, Arab, I, I as a citizen want to raise a very simple issue. I as a citizen, I am buying a property. There are statutory bodies who are supposed to keep a check on it. I am not supposed to keep a check on it. There is a building proposal department who's paid salary through our taxes. There is a local politician who's supposed to take care of the buildings coming in. There is a proper government who's supposed to check things properly, whether this building is properly built or not built, whether these flats are properly made or not made. I am not an architect. I am not an expert on building proposals, whether this FSI is correct or whether this uh, e extension is correct or whether this flower bed is correct, whether this parking area is correct. It is not my job. It is a job of those people, those statutory bodies who are supposed to take total control of it. They and don't. Tomorrow, tomorrow, they don't. They and don't. tomorrow, they don't. if they have failed in doing that, they should be hanged exactly. and not the citizens. Citizens are not supposed to uh, be punished for the crime committed by the builder, but by the, the, by, by, by the local politician. See, that's when what happens is local, politi uh, politi government. politicians like Rahul Narvek, uh, with the greatest of respect to him, will stand there and say to these people today, I am with you. Well, you are, you are not with these people when your municipal corporation, which you rule, did not do the job. You see, the reason why we are raising this whole big question here is today. Politicians have to decide today, Rahul Narvekar, whether the same laws, laws apply to everybody as they do to them. Do you believe, therefore, that the top politicians' houses should also be demolished? Do you believe that Mayawati should be stopped from having that super bungalow in Delhi? Do you think so, Rahul? Well, Arnav, before I start answering the questions you put to me, let me request you that this is a very, very important issue which affects the lives of lakhs of Mumbaikars. I wouldn't want to politicize this issue. And at the same time, I would urge you to give me enough time to give you an insight on this entire issue. In, I absolutely concede to the fact there's equality before the law, there's equal protection of the law. No one is above the law. And therefore, law should apply uniformly to politicians, to common but citizens, it doesn't, does it? to celebrities, etc. It doesn't. Et cetera. It doesn't. Now coming back but to But it your, doesn't. To, to politicians, it doesn't. I appreciate that. No, you and, don't need to appreciate it. You need to do something about it. Of course. Of course, there is an intention to do everything about it. Now, let me come to the issue. Now, in, with regards to the present case, there is no doubt about the fact that these innocent citizens and residents have been harassed. Have been harassed, have been cheated, and have been fooled. And continue to be the by whom? There are, by whom? Let me complete. No, by whom? One second. Well, I, 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 I find my, it. I find next, it. Next, I find it ridiculous. My, my, my no, no. First, is, first of all, Rahul Narvekar, one point. You see, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Your party has come out and opposed the demolition. The Shiv Sena cannot exonerate itself from the blame. The Supreme Court in I its judgment. Sorry. One, allow am, me to complete I, I and don't sorry. interrupt me. I the am Supreme sorry. Court in its judgment. Mr. Ornab Mr. Rahul Narvekar, you are not aware about the subject, and that's why you are making such sweeping comments. Please understand. Mr. Rahul Narvekar, raising your voice will not help at this point of time because your Shiv Sena has been in power, if I am not mistaken, 
since 1985 for three years between then and now. The Supreme Court has stated that all the corporation did was issue first notices. First and foremost, was, was a first one and minute foremost let me yeah, correct you right time. here. Mr. Shiv Sena was never in power when, she, when this very proposal was passed the, or when this proposal was submitted. Baby, it was the Congress in power in the Mumbai Municipal Corporation. Therefore, do not I, make I find it, I find it you know, you Please get your record straight Mr. Rahul Narvekar, please be very clear about it. I have no sympathy in this case for any politician. And I know what the politicians are trying we, to do. They are trying minute, to switch sides one tonight. Minute. One minute. Don't need one minute. Certificate from you. No, well, I you don't cannot make sweeping <laughs> comments. It's like me saying all journalists are paid that's journalists. That's How would you like to repeat that? Mr. Mr. Rahul Narvika, so, that's, so, so that kind of, that kind of fake. I am sorry. That, 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 what's, I want to say something, Rahul. You cannot Rahul, generalize that like kind, this. That kind of, I know several kind politicians who have given up a lot in their life to save this country and the people. Calm down, Mr. Narvika. You cannot make such sweeping comments. You are being unnecessary necessarily defensive today, uh, that kind of fake aggression is like water off a duck's back as far as I'm you concerned. You may say what you I'm, please, I'm simply but saying kindly one support, question tonight. Kindly my, my what question you say is, with evidence my, my question, and with facts. Yes, you did nothing since 1985. Give you me want an to know opportunity what facts to answer are? and I'll since tell you what I did. Since 1985, you did nothing but issue notices. Today when the cameras are there, I know what the politicians do. They stand out there, they stand out there. No one has asked your cameras to be there. You've chosen to be there. Mr. Rahul Narvekar, now that you have been the Supreme Court Take up the country a thousand issue. times, Mr. Arnab Mr. Goswami. Now I want that to know <laughs> how many times did Times now take up the Kampakola <laughs> issue? Uh, well, Why have you swung into action Mr. today? Mr. Rahul, That's my charge Mr. on you. Mr. Rahul Narvekar, you know, you, calm down. I have three uh, three uh, suggestions for you. Calm down. Don't don't try don't to worry, be don't, don't try to calm. be aggressive. And when you're asked calm. questions, answer the questions. I believe here the politicians create the problem and then they try to be the uh, uh, you know people solving it as well. Okay, what about no no one second? Let's realize how corrupt our system. What about the builders? Do the builders get punished? Do the builders get punished enough? What's your question no, no, to them? Fair, one second. No, no, one second. No, no, let, let him. Here's a question for you. Go ahead. What's your today question? You'll break. You'll sell a property before it breaks ground. And once the property is ready, before occupation certificates are delivered, the, the, the accountability is not there, and you'll walk away. Yeah, please. I, I'll, co I'll co cover this point also. Please. See, first of all, Builders Association of India is not here to protect any of the his member or a, any of the developer yes, who has used any wrong practices. Then you should number sack him. Two, number you should two. Sack him from your association. No. Why is he a part See, of the their association there? sacking you? somebody is not a going to solve their problem. But why are you not taking his license off? Please, please don't interrupt. No, no. You, you can say. Why are you not taking his license off? Number two, he's number two. Valid you, question. But having, one, one, having, he's asking you a valid question. question. You, you can, no, no. Why, get why, away. He's not our. You, first of all, he's not our member. Who? He's this developer. All those builders who are part of your body have they not committed the same crime? Mr. Pandey, what I'm saying. See, now having said this, what I observe is. In this order, which uh, uh, court has passed, is an incomplete order. They have only penalized only the one section of the people. They have failed to penalize and compensate the people who are otherwise also responsible for, the, for this matter. They have failed to penalize developer. They have failed to penalize architect. They have failed to penalize the uh, constituted body of the corporation and even the state government. Whose joint? If, if order would have been that if, if this is a mistake of all these people. These people should be compensated no. by paying either the you see, don't, no, or the the monetary the, 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 then justice would have been there. Right now I find apart. right now I find order is incomplete and only penalizing only the people who are one section of the people. There is no penalty or no no no, no a monetary penalty to corporation. There is you no see, monetary the question, penalty. The question is once Jiten, Jitendra Awad represents the NCP tonight. And, and you know you'll get you'll all get on touchy ground. There is a known fact, it's a builder. Municipality, politician nexus, which ruins the system, which allows the corruption, and then one minute, See, please. And, and this happens all over the country. By the way, it happens all over the country. It's worse in Mumbai. No, no. The, the, one this minute. Happens wherever the votes are there. M Mr. Otherwise, it doesn't happen. M you know. See, you know. That you know. Means, you know. That means. I. That means. The builders are not saying that you are not saying that. The builders are not saying that you give a sum. I am. I am. The builders are not saying you regularize this. There is a. There is. What is the issue? Here there is no vote, so they are not. That means they are not. These are the very same builders who commit the violation decades after decades and they yet are not accountable. See, the system is corrupt. Don't, don't pass an order for all the developers. So, okay. sir, it's the system. I agree, I agree with you. The people who have made a default. 
You should be penalized. You are they should be, be sent to Arthur Road Jail. No, you tell me. But you tell me one builder, builder, builder for all the people. You tell me one builder yes, who has not committed a, a fault. Is it tell possible, me one builder. Is it possible to make a building in Bombay? Ninety-five percent of the builders have not committed. Is it possible to make a building in Bombay without greasing the pants of the corporation? Saying, That's not possible. Gentlemen, gentlemen, you see one 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 interesting fact. No, one. The law is not equal for everyone. This is what it proves. In Mumbai, yep. and this statistic will be interesting for our viewers. Deputy Chief Minister Ajit Pawar, the BJP leader Gopinath Munde, the State Congress President Manikrao Thakre, and there are also some governors and the State Forest Minister. All of them are accused of making illegal alterations and conversions to their houses. When I come back, I'm going to ask the NCP representative what action has been taken against the Deputy Chief Minister. And in our country, consider this: if no action is taken against the Deputy Chief Minister and a former UP Chief Minister. then what right do the politicians have to throw the law at the citizen back in a few minutes